A deadly crash has shut down I-40 in Johnston County. You can see behind me the extent of that backup. This is drone video. Here's a look at that map where you can see the eastbound lanes are completely closed at exit 312. CBS 17's Jamise Price is live near I-40 now with the latest details. Jamise, what have you been able to find out? Now, Susanna, we're on the other side of the interstate. We are on the westbound side, but just there on the eastbound. That's where state troopers have spent most of the morning investigating this fatal crash. Just take a look at the scene there behind me. Now, I was able to arrive to the scene just a moment after that fatal accident happened, and I was able to talk to some of the witnesses, and I spoke with a doctor, and he was able to provide help until medics arrived. He told me there were three people inside that car. There was a mom, dad, and a son. He said the son was pinned in the back seat. He said it was actually the mother that passed away in this accident. Now, from the state troopers, they told us that this was a three tractor trailer accident um, with that car. We were able to see some of the drivers of those uh, semis when we were on scene earlier this morning. They were also being checked out and examined as well. They were definitely shaken. I talked to them for a little bit and they couldn't really explain exactly what happened, but definitely shaken by all of this. Now, this has uh, caused major backups and delays on I-40. So I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the detours in the area. So a lot of people trying to get I-40 east going eastbound. Um, you're being asked right now to take exit 306. And that is US 70 Business East. And that's going to take you to Highway 42 West, then 250 South, then to a 210 East, and that's going to get you back onto I-40 East. Now, those drivers going westbound, you're asked to take uh, Highway 210 West to 50 North to 42 East, and then US 70 East in order to re-access I-40 West. Again, um, it was just a, a lot going on on that scene immediately following that accident. Present a lot of people shaking, especially that doctor who was able to provide some assistance. He sees a lot of things in his field, but he said this definitely uh, shook him to his core. In Johnston County, Jamise Price, CBS 17 News.